Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. And today, a quick MD Minute coming out of researchers from Tufts University, published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Um, it's an interesting, really long study. What they did is they took uh, people in the nurses' health study. This was a study that was done over many, many years. And they were looking at nurses who were originally less than 60 years old in the 1980s. And what they did in the 1980s, that's when <clears throat> they started the study, is they looked at what they were eating and they did a, a, a typical diet questionnaire. And then after that, they followed them. And in 2014 to 2016, they asked the following question. Let's look at what they were eating and then see how many of them, as they obviously aged, because that was 30 years plus later, how many of them were still healthy? They defined it as not having one of 11 major chronic diseases, heart disease, um, diabetes, COPD, which is emphysema, chronic bronchitis, um, kidney issues. So all typical bad chronic diseases. And if you didn't have any of those 11 diseases 30 years later, then you were healthy as you aged. And the question they asked was this. Let's look at the food that they were eating and which foods, if you were eating more of, you were more likely to be healthy as you got older. And what they found, the answer, not a surprise, is protein, because the most important macronutrient for humans is protein. It's the one thing you have to have. You can be on a low carb diet, you can be on a low fat diet, but a low protein diet is essentially starvation. So in this study, what they found was the following. If you had a higher level of animal protein, then you had a 5% increase likelihood you were going to be healthy and not get any of those 11 years, 11 diseases over the next uh, 30 years. If you ate dairy protein, so um, that would be, you know, yogurt, etc., then there was an 18% increase in the likelihood you'd have healthy aging. And if you had plant protein, that would be legumes, beans, etc., tofu, then it was actually 38% higher likelihood that you would be healthy and have none of those diseases 30 years later. So my take on this is that protein is by far the most important macronutrient. Clearly, the research shows that Plant protein is superior as possible to animal protein, but we are omnivores. So if you want to eat some animal protein, then perhaps some low fat dairy would be the way to go and minimal amounts of red meat. Plant protein is the way forward. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.